The last few times I've tried to grow potatoes, I've planted the seed potato directly into the ground. And every time the plant will do really well, it'll produce blossoms, then all of a sudden I'll go in there and it's just filled with ants. So this time I wanted to try doing something a little different. And what I did for that was put all of my potatoes in these little seed cups. I just cut them in half or sometimes in quarters, depending on where a good eye was, at least one. And in this case, I tried for a couple of eyes just to make sure that they would do okay. And you can see this one did not have these tiny roots developing just like two or three days ago. And already the roots are developing from the eye and starting to push down to the soil. And I see that happening on a couple of them. Some not so much, but the eyes are still coming up pretty well. And I did choose to leave the top of these potatoes exposed simply because the sun will turn their green and encourage growth. And that's what I've decided to do. Here's another one that's actually, let me take this out. It's doing pretty well right there. And even one more back here that's doing pretty good. You can kind of see a better example of it sending out the roots and everything. And then on top of these, they'll basically, because potato leaves look a little different, they won't look exactly like tomato plants, but they'll have that green foliage and kind of a tomato-y smell. And that'll shoot off off the top. And so essentially I'll end up with little green plants that I can see where I'm planting them and I can choose to go out to the garden and plant them in the soil. I didn't really have beds prepared for potatoes, but they like cooler weather. And so what we are trying to do, I just bought, I believe, four, eight pounds of potatoes. I got two pounds for a dollar. So I got four dollars worth, so that was eight pounds from our local feed store. And I decided to plant them all out. If we would have chitted them for longer and let everything grow, the eyes grow better, they would have definitely been able to produce more plants. Some of them we didn't even cut open. But because I didn't take the time to let them grow for a long period of time before planting them, that's why we got what we did. But we still got a good amount. This is 3, 6, 9, 12 plants up here. And then 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So there's actually, I don't, yeah, that's a pretty good amount. And all these will produce plants. Now, I've heard some different things about how much potatoes will produce. Sometimes it is 10 pounds a plant. Some people say 10 to 20 pounds per plant. And I've seen some things where it says four, three to four pounds per plant. So I really don't know what to expect. Those are huge gaps in numbers. So I'm going to plant the potatoes and then when they're done producing, show exactly what they produce. Probably get a scale that I can weigh them out on so I can actually see what they truly can produce because I really want to know for myself because it gets so it goes from really cold weather here to really hot out of nowhere my goal is to grow these potatoes right now so let them turn into little plants get the beds prepared plant all of them into probably one bed maybe two and let them grow in there and then take them all out and when warmer weather comes I already have sweet potatoes vines that um little slips rather growing inside in a cup and my plan is to transplant those out in place of these potatoes I don't know if that's the best idea but that's what I'm thinking right now sweet potatoes produce a huge amount of food they really thrive in awful hot humid weather and that's what we have in southeast Texas so that is my plan and I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick video and kind of show what I'm doing to grow potatoes. I know it seems a little unconventional, but this is why I, what I think is the best option. I saw someone else that kind of starts them in cups a while back. I can't remember who, but I thought that 
might work for me because I've tried starting it in five gallon buckets. I've tried putting it directly into our beds, but the ants are awful and they are just completely destroy the potatoes. I picked potatoes up out of the ground off the plants and they had holes all in them and ants actively eating them. And that was really frustrating. So I'm not sure if this is going to make a huge difference, but at least I know I can see the plants starting and growing. I can know where I'm planting them and hopefully get a good chance at harvest, which I'm pretty excited to share how it goes and my transition from these potatoes to sweet potatoes.